Before we start anything, let's think about how we can solve this question. Here we have a linear polynomial in the numerator and a quadratic polynomial in the denominator. So basically we need to express the numerator values using differentiation of the quadratic polynomial with constant values. Then we can divide these numerator values by the denominator value separately. After that, we have two parts. The integral value of first part we can get as ln denominator. And the integral of the second part we can simplify using completing the square of the quadratic polynomial. Clear? Let's jump into the question. First, we need to try to get differentiation of the denominator value from the numerator. In the numerator, we have 3x plus 2. We can get 3 as a common factor. Then we have within bracket x plus 2 over 3. After that, we can put two value in the numerator. To cancel out this two value, we can put another two in the denominator. Then 3 over 2 value we can get outside of the integral because it is a constant value. We can remove the bracket and get the result 2x plus 4 over 3 in the numerator. We can add plus 2 value for the 2x value. To cancel out this plus 2, we can put another minus 2. Minus 2 plus 4 over 3 value, we can get as minus 2 over 3. After that, this numerator values, we can divide from the denominator. Then we have 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x plus 5 minus 2 over 3 over x squared plus 2x plus 5. Now we can consider integral sign separately. 2 over 3 value is a constant. So we can bring this 2 over 3 value outside of the integral. Integral 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 2x plus 5 value we can write as ln modulus denominator or ln x squared plus 2x plus 5. To simplify second integral, we can use the integration by parts. x squared plus 2x plus 5 value we can write as x plus 1 perfect squared minus 1 plus 5. Then we have x plus 1 perfect squared plus 4. Value of 4 we can write as 2 squared. Then we have 2 squared plus x plus 1 perfect squared. Integral 1 over k squared plus ax plus b perfect squared value we can write as tan inverse ax plus d over k divided by a times k. Using this equation we can write integral 1 over 2 squared plus x plus 1 perfect squared as tan inverse x plus 1 over 2 divided by 1 times 2. In this case, simple k value equals 2, simple a value equals 1, simple b value equals 1. After that, we can remove the brackets and get the result 3 times 2 ln x squared plus 2x plus 5 minus 3 over 2 times 1 over 3 tan inverse x plus 1 over 2. Then we have the final answer as 3 over 2 ln x squared plus 2x plus 5 minus half times tan inverse x plus 1 over 2.